Well, fed up with car prowlers in their school's parking lot, one Lewis and Clark student organized a meeting tonight with parents and Spokane cops volunteers to come up with a plan to make the area safer. As Graham 2's Kyle Simchuk tells us, reporting break-ins could help reduce the crime. Kyle? Lewis and Clark is the only high school that doesn't have its own parking lot. The district leases property from the Department of Transportation so students can park under I-90. Break-ins are becoming more common, so now parents and students are pressing the school to install cameras and increase security. I would like to thank everybody for being here. Lewis and Clark student Leilani Santiago had her car broken into this March. Thieves smashed a window and took a pair of sunglasses, but that wasn't the worst of it. They poured Mountain Dew in her gas tank. Damages totaled $3,000. The goal today is to inform everyone about what has been done, what is being done, and brainstorm ideas for what can be done. Leilani started a safety committee at her school. Tonight she held a meeting with students, parents, and cops volunteers. We have the money to get the security cameras. We just need permission from the DOT. Her mom Heidi says cameras would definitely help and so would extra patrols. She says campus safety specialists do walkthroughs during school hours, but no one is assigned after school during plays and sporting events. And so I think we're seeing a lot of uh, you know, interest in saying, OK, maybe we've crossed the line when it comes to crime and some of the things we're allowing. And therefore, we need to start making some changes and then starting with you guys. Spokane Cops Executive Director Patrick Stryker reminded people at tonight's meeting that all crimes need to be reported. Police pay attention to data and will often shift patrols to cover hotspot areas. We can hopefully reduce crime. Lieutenant Steve Braun says two months ago, neighborhood resource officers increased their presence in the area of Madison to Cedar and Sprague to Second Avenue. Calls for service in the area reduced from 93 in the two weeks before to 57 in the two weeks after emphasis patrols. And vehicle prowling reports went from 18 to 3. That tells me that there are officers are out doing a fantastic job in, in the outreach in doing some of those SEPTED recommendations, it just being a visible presence so that the community sees our officers out in you know, a couple of square block area as a deterrent for criminal activity. Once officers move to another identified hotspot downtown, Braun says these numbers may go back up slightly, but they rarely go back to where they were before. And Leilani says she also plans to bring, bring the parking lot issues before city council members at their next meeting on Monday. In the newsroom, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.